Hi everyone, Christina here. Welcome to another card video at my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm using brand new products from Mama Elephant. They just came out today. This stamp set is called Stackable Cuties. I'm also using the coordinating dies for that stamp set and then this Cloudy Day cover die. I'm gonna use all three of those products today. Starting out by doing a bunch of Copic coloring over all of these little critters. I stamped them on Nina Solar White cardstock using Simon Says Stamp Intense Black Ink, which is a Copic friendly ink. And now I'm coloring each one of these animals. And you'll notice that I did smear a little bit of that stamped line on the elephant and on the cat. That's because I started coloring right away. In fact, um, I did take a minute after I worked on the elephant to kind of heat set all of these animals and it did reduce any smearing and smudging because this ink generally doesn't do that but I did double stamp these using my misty stamp positioning tool and because of that there was quite a bit of ink on each one of these lines so it's still a Copic friendly ink it was just a little bit wet. So I'm coloring all of these critters, um, specifically the cat and the dog. I'm coloring them like my friend's pets because this card is actually intended for her. Now her dog does not look like this at all. It's actually a German Shepherd, but I did want to use sort of similar colors that, that are on her dog. So that's what influenced the colors on the dog. And then the cat, she has a really, really pretty flame point cat who's just adorable and has little, like a darker little snout so cute. I also included this unicorn because it's just fun. Why not? So I colored all of these critters and then once everything was completely colored I came in with the coordinating dies and I lined them up over each one of these images and then used some micro pore tape to hold them to the, to the cardstock while I run it through my Big Shot machine. This is going to make sure that they don't slide or move around and I get a really good cut line. So I'll run those through my Big Shot machine, and then I'll also do a little bit of stamping using three different colors of ink from Simon Says Stamp. I've got Hollyhock, Duckling, and Wisteria. And I'm using the little balloon stamp that's in the stamp set. Now the balloon is a solid color or a solid image. It's not an outline. So I did have to grab some colorful inks. And you'll notice that first balloon that I used Wisteria ink on is really, really splotchy. And so I decided, you know, this is a brand new stamp. It probably just needed to be seasoned a little bit because once I moved on to the hollyhock color and also duckling, they were great. So I went back to Wisteria and stamped it a second time and sure enough, I got a much better impression. So if you do a little bit of solid stamping using some inks and they don't look quite right, try stamping again because sometimes the, the stamp just has a little bit of a coating on it and it needs to be used a little bit in order to get a really solid image. So now I've got that cloudy day cover die, die cut and I'm using some tumbled glass distress ink to blend on a little bit of color. Started at the bottom and then now I'm going to slide in a piece of cardstock and it's going to mask off the top of the clouds so that I'm only adding the tumble glass color to the area right above the clouds. So when I remove that paper that's masking everything, it's going to leave the top of the clouds bright white and then the area right above it will have a little bit of color. And I did this all the way to the other end of this die cut. And this is going to give a little bit of dimension to this flat die cut. You can see how different that looks. So now I'm gonna take all my little critters and I'm gonna place them inside these clouds, tucking them behind all of those fun bumps in the clouds. And then I'll take some foam adhesive. This is from Scrapbook Adhesives, just some really small foam squares. And I'll put one square on the back of each of these little critters and then down onto this design. And I just kind of space those out. I also put foam adhesive behind the balloons. I'll eventually draw some lines for strings coming from the balloons. As far as the greeting goes, I took the little talk bubble that says Happy Bee Day, and I'm stamping that in some Versafine Onyx Black ink. Now there is not a die that cuts out the little talk bubbles included in the stamp set, so I did have to take my scissors and fussy cut around this. Not a huge deal, this is a very easy shape to cut out. So I just went, uh, took my scissors around that shape, put a little bit of foam behind it, and then adhered that directly onto the design. I then prepped my card base. I'm using some Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock. I scored that at five and a half to create a top folding card. 
I then took a black pen and a ruler and drew in the lines coming down from the balloons. I wanted them to be coming from the cat. So I adhered my design to the front of the card using some tape runner adhesive. And then that finishes the card for today. I think this is super cute. It's got a lot of like personalized elements for my friend that I'll be giving it to. Thanks so much for watching. And I will be back on, let's see, just tomorrow on Wednesday with a new card. Thanks for watching.